Welcome to a tutorial video on Magic at Network License Server installation. Here we will show you how to download and install your Network License Server utilities for Magic Hat, how to configure them, how to activate the license, and we will also go through a few troubleshoot issues. To download the installation package for Network License Server utilities, you will need a valid Magic Hat activation ID. This ID can be found from the delivery letter sent to you by our staff. The delivery letter also includes the information on purchased MagicAd products and instructions on how to get started with using MagicAd. The ID can be used to sign in at portal.magicad.com. Choose Tools from the top of the screen, type Server Utilities into the search box and click go. Then just sign in with your activation ID and download the installation package. There is also a link to the network license server utilities in the delivery letter which signs you in automatically and forwards you to the correct installation package. After downloading Extract the installation package, which contains both a 32 and a 64 bit version. The information on which operating system type you're using can be found through the control panel. License server requires .NET 4 client profile. The Windows Server 2008 R2 and older see instructions for Magic Hat licensing user guide chapter 1 important information. Windows Server 2012 and 2012 R2 have .NET 4.5 and .NET 4.5.1 installed by default and .NET installations are not required. Once the installation package has been extracted, install the correct version and follow the on-screen instructions. Once the installation is complete, there will be a Magic Ad License Server Utilities folder on the desktop and also all the required files will be installed to see Program Files Magic Ad License Server Utilities. The default installation of Magic Ad License Server listens port 2194, selects one board between 27000 and 27009 and uses also one random higher port. Keep in mind that there might be other servers using these ports or company security might not allow to use these ports. The latter two ports can be edited in the license server license file magicat.lic which also acts as the main configuration file. This file is located in C program files Magic at License Server Utilities. The licensors themselves are not in the license file since they are activation based and so the license file is only meant for configuration. Default license file has the following lines server this host any and vendor Magic Ad. On the first line you can define the port which is used by lmgrd.exe and on the second line you can define the port which is used by magicad.exe. After making changes to the files, open LM tools from the Magic Analyzer Server Utilities folder. Select the Start, Stop, Riri tab, click on the Magic Cat service. Keep in mind that you might have more than just that service. Press Stop Server and wait a few seconds before clicking on the Start Server button. The Borrow Service port is defined in the Product Data Service.exe.config file which can be found from C, Program Files, Magic and License Server Utilities 
and service. By editing this line, you'll be able to define the used port. However, make sure that no other service is using that same port. The maximum time to borrow a license can also be defined in this file. By editing this line, you'll be able to limit the license borrow time from the license server. The default value for this is 30 days. After making changes to this configuration file, you will need to restart the service in order for the changes to take effect. Open Computer Management, select Services and find Magic Ad License Information Service from the list. Right click on it and select Restart. Magic Ad License Information Service writes a log to the event log. Change to the event viewer and open application and services logs. There you can find the product data log and in it there should be an information event which has the message TCP service server listen to address 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 in port 2194 which means that the server has started to use port 2194. Usually the firewall needs to be configured as well. Open Windows Firewall from the control panel. Select Allow an app or feature through Windows Firewall. Change settings and then allow another app. Click Browse and go to the license server install directory select lmgrd.exe click add and add again depending on your computer's settings you may need to enable domain private or public repeat the same steps for magicad.exe and product data service.exe from the service folder License activation requires network connection to server flexnet.progman.fi port 443. Make sure that no firewall or proxy is denying access to that. Open Magic at License Server Utilities folder and start the Network License Server Management Utility. Type in the number of licenses to the C count and the activation ID to the enter your, your activation IDs box. Click add button to add license to the activation list. After this you can continue adding new licenses if needs to be. The seed count and the activation IDs can be found in the license delivery letter sent to you by our staff. Notice that you can have more than one type of license and you can have more than one of each. When inserting the information to the network license server utility, the seed count can be smaller than the amount of licenses you have on the delivery letter. This gives you the possibility to divide the licenses to multiple servers just as long as the total count doesn't exceed the actual number of licenses that, that you have. Also remember you can only activate network licenses with this tool, not standalone licenses. Once all the licenses have been added, select the license, click on Import Activate, wait a while, and once the activation has been confirmed, close the License Server Management Utility, open LM Tools from the Magic at License Server Utilities, Open LM Tools, select the Start Stop Reread tab, stop the Magic Ad service. You might have more than that. Press Stop Server, wait a few seconds, and then restart the server. 
once the network licenses have been activated, you'll need to open the license management utility on a workstation which has MagicCAD installed on it. It should be in the MagicCAD slash tools folder found on the desktop. Click on the options, check use network licenses and add server name. The server address needs to be in a similar form to add server name or add IP address. If you've changed the server ports and the configuration, use the same port number here, in this case 27001, by adding it before the add sign. If you've changed the borrow service port, remember to change it as well. The default value is 21. Nine, four. To test all the connections, click Test Connections. If any of the tests fail, see Troubleshoot section. Once all the tests have been passed, the licenses should be visible on the Network Licenses tab. When upgrading your license server, the activated licenses need to be returned. Open the Network License Server Management Utility, change the Network License Export Return tab and choose the licenses and click on the Export Return. Remember that all the borrowed licenses need to be returned from the desktops back to the server before doing this. And finally, Remember to stop and start the license server with LM tools when you have either activated or returned licenses in order to have the changes in full effect. If your license server doesn't have access to the internet, the licenses need to be activated manually. Select manual tools and generate activation requests. Save the file to a desired location and send it to us at flex at progman.fi with your contact information. Our staff will create a response file which you should read into the server using manual tools, read activation response. If this is your first time activating a MagicCAD license on this computer, you'll need to repeat these steps in order to complete the activation process. What if the connection tests in the license management utility do not pass? The first two tests are made to Progman servers at flexnet.progman.fi you can easily check if you have access to it by typing in the address to your web browser. If this fails, check your internet connection, company firewall and proxy. To test if the firewall is the problem, you should temporarily disable it. Go to Control Panel, Windows Firewall, turn Windows Firewall on or off. Turn off for all network types, run the test with LMU, and once the tests are done, turn the firewall back on. The next two connection tests are made to the installed license server. Local network license server connection test tries to connect to lmgrd.exe in the license server. In this case, we use port 27001 for this service. If connection fails, see magicat.log from the installation folder if it has any errors. Also check computer management services to see if the Magicat service is running. If any errors appear, you should restart the service from the LM tools.
local license information service connection test tries to connect to product data service.exe. In this case, we use port 2194. Should any problems occur, open computer management and services and check that a magic and license information service is running. Also check the product data log for any possible errors. If any errors come up, restart the service. To view the license server log, you should open LM tools, change the config services tab and click on view log. The same log can also be opened from the installation folder. You should be looking for the following lines to make sure that everything's okay. To find out what ports are in use, open admin comment prompt, type in the following line to create a txt file in the used folder. The lines in that file are filtered according to port numbers and you should be looking for the following lines to make sure that the services are listening to user connections as previously configured. License usage on the license server can also be checked from the magicat.log. A successful license borrowing looks similar to this. When contacting Magicat support, it always helps if you send us your magicat.log, magicat.lic and the netstat .txt if you've created one. You should also send a technical report from both the server and the workstation. These reports can be created on either the network license management utility as shown here or from the license management utility by opening the tool and selecting report, save technical report. 